The topic is on job market analysis by Power BI. Let me start with three simple questions. My, the first question coming into my mind is, where are the jobs? And second, of course, how much salary it's, it's going to be, right? I want to know it by, by region, by state, and by industry. And second question would be, what is the most demanded and also highest paid, right, job roles or, or domains, right? Let's say you're working supply chain management, there are different domains you can work on, right? Either on the supply or um, internal operations or um, uh, downstream, which is the logistics. And finally, of course, in order to prepare for such jobs, you want to know what is the most demanded skills, right? Knowledge and software tools. So essentially we collect the job advertisement from three job sites, Indeed.com, Monster.com, and LinkedIn.com. So the job posting dates is earlier this year from January to March, right? Totally we have 6,115 unique advertisements. Now let's use the data to answer those questions. First question is about jobs and salary. So we wanna know where are the jobs? What is the salary? Let's say medium salary by state, by region, and by industry. Immediately by this by this map, you'll see where the job is, right? So which is, I would say, California, right? Takes us, and I think Illinois and New Jersey, right? Illinois is slightly more than New Jersey, and you can point your cursor to the state and it's going to show you how many jobs are located right in that state so here is the job distribution by region right let me select let's say this is the south region you see that right from texas to florida all these states are, uh, are in the south region this region seems to have the most jobs right out of the six thousand right plus jobs this actually accounts for 30, almost 40% of the jobs, right? Now, this also you see here, right? This region has the South region. The median salary is about $72,000. I think that's the annual salary, right? The third highest region. Now, let's go to, this is another region, that uh, Middle West region. That includes uh, Illinois, right, Indiana, and some other states in the middle of United States. And this region turns to offer the lowest median salary, right, about sixty-seven thousand dollars. Right, it has the second highest number of jobs, about twenty-three percent. Now, what about west? What about the coast? Right. Let's first look at the West Coast. West Coast has about 20% of the jobs, right? In the West Coast, if you look carefully, actually California has about 50% of all the jobs in the West, in the West Coast, right? And the median salary is the highest, right? If you look at this, it's about almost $90,000 per year, right? And finally, let's look at Los East, and that's our region in the tri-state area. Right, that's New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and all the states in the uh, in the northeast. Right, in this region, we have the second highest medium salary, which is about seventy five thousand dollars, seventy six thousand dollars, and also about twenty percent of the jobs. It turns out the distribution of jobs is highly correlated to the economic to the uh, economic prosperity of that state. Right, if you compare the job distribution, that is number of jobs in each state with number of enterprises or, or enterprises to the revenue of enterprises by state. Now you find significant coverage, right? It looks pretty much the same, right? You look at this, just look at the map, right? So here we have California, Texas, Illinois, right? The highest. And here we have Texas, California, Illinois, New York, and so on. Right, it's highly correlated. So our next question is, 
Let's find out more details about the center rate. How about that? All right, we'll show the medium center rate by state. So let's go back. Here's our data. All right, and that's a center rate related information, right? By state. But right, it turns out the highest paid jobs, right, are in Washington. The median salary is over one hundred thousand dollars. Now remember, this is all job combined, right? It's including entry level and senior. So later we're going to see more specifically about entry level. For example, I think that's what you are targeting at, right? And the second is uh, California, about nine ninety two thousand dollars, right? That's on the west coast. On the east coast, we have. Turns out we have Connecticut, right, has high paid jobs, about $92,000. Now, the payment in New York, uh, in New Jersey is about seventy five. dollars New York, seven seventy seven. dollars If you are specifically looking for entry-level position, let's click on entry-level, right, which gave you, oops, a very different picture. Uh, if you're looking for entry-level position on the West Coast, that will be California, 67 right? Now, if you look at East Coast, that would be Maine, by $72,000. Uh, New Jersey is not bad. It's 62, right? But Virginia is higher, 60, 68. Let's look at different roles, right? Different uh, domains. For example, you are interested in demand forecasting management, which is a very important part of supply chain management. Right, and there's a lot of jobs on demand forecasting, right? And look at this for demand management, and it's for this year. Looks like Yota has the highest paid jobs, right? Um, and for inventory management or material management, right? If you look at here, that's that's Connecticut, right? I think you get the idea, right? So you can play with data and find out. Uh, the combinations that you are interested in. Right? The first industry is manufacturing. It has the highest number of jobs, but not necessarily the highest medium salary. You see here, right? It has almost 700 jobs and, right, from this out of the uh, 6,000, right, the median salary for all the manufacturing related supply chain jobs, right, is about uh, $74,000. Consumer Goods have a slightly higher, seventy-seven, right, median a thousand dollars as the median salary, and uh, yeah, manufacturing seventy-four, right, and also has tons of jobs. That's consumer goods, and then we have healthcare. Healthcare clearly has much higher, median salary eighty-two thousand dollars, right. Also has a lot of jobs. Right now, this one actually has a lot of jobs. That is technology, right? IT related, for example, right? And this clearly has much higher salary, which is $92,000, $93,000. Now let's look at job domains or and job types, right? So the question is, what is the most demanded and highest paid domains and job types? Domains means different uh, areas of supply chain, right? From from supply management, right, to demand, to to production, right, to logistics. If you work on different areas in supply chain. Your the, the the first the demand is very different, right? And second, you'll be paid by a different salary, right? Now, the first one is supply chain management, which is essentially. This is a comprehensive role. So you will be uh, looking at a company, right? Both at the demand and supply. So they sometimes they have actually many companies have have this integrated role. Right? They call this demand and supply management. Right? This actually has the highest number of jobs. Look at this: fifteen hundred uh, uh, jobs out of the six thousand. Right? right? However, this uh, the salary actually is also pretty high, right? It's eighty six thousand dollars. Then there's also tons of jobs on on procurement or supply specific, right? Domains, 
right? And these jobs has a pay up a slightly lower, about eighty thousand dollars. And the third most popular right domain is logistics and transportation. Right, you managing the material flows, right? Uh, this has a median salary of about seventy one thousand dollars. Right, this is going down, right? And also, and finally, if you look at inventories and material management. Right, as also it has fewer jobs and also less pay, $65,000. Now this is not the worst, right? The worst I think is warehousing and distribution, right? You don't have many jobs out there and the payment is about $46,000, right? These are the most popular job types, but among which we have production, uh, this is uh, production scheduling in the manufacturing companies, right? You have relatively higher paid, about $85,000. So actually manufacturing has higher pay, right? It's almost the same as sub demand and supply management, right? Now, clearly we have one job here, one job role here has really high pay, right? And what that is, that supply chain IT business intelligence and technology. I would say that's data-driven jobs, right? The business intelligence jobs in, we, in the supply chain domain. And this one has how much in the median salary is $118,000, right? Supply chain related IT or business intelligence jobs has the highest pay. We have to understand, right? Many things about jobs, where it is, how much we get paid, right? By industry, by job type, by domains. Now the question is, how do we prepare for those jobs, right? What skills they require, right? So we can we can uh, work on those jobs. So that's our last question, right? We want to find out knowledge, skills, and software required, right? And this will be the basis for your course selection. Right. We'll find two very interesting things here, right? The first is the most popular, of course, is management because we're looking at a management related position. And what is interesting and surprising is, is the second most popular terms, which is analytics, analysis, right? Analytical, these kind of keywords. You know, management and analytics do not often go together. Well, management, traditionally, we look at soft skills, we look at leadership, communication, teamwork, right? And that type of skills, people skills, right? And analytics is mostly engineering type of skills, right? But now the trend is they come, they come together now. So it turns out all these jobs, all these management related jobs requires a candidates, not only has the soft skills, right? The management skills, but also the hard, hardcore data analytic skills. We also look at the knowledge, the follow-up keywords, that's production. And that means still a lot of companies are focusing on, on internal operation, on manufacturing, right? There's a lot of jobs related to this, almost. If you look at this, almost 4,000 job advertisement, two-thirds right, of the jobs. And demand is very important. Right, so if you take courses, I, strong, I strongly suggest you to take one on demand forecasting and planning. Right, right. so your learn skills that will be able to you know handle these jobs. Right, procurement, pr purchasing and sourcing, which is followed. I right? see demand and supply. Right, and these are also important courses for you to take. Uh, beyond that, you can you see supply chain, which is broadly defined, right, from supply to demand. And inventory, say stock, right? This is also an important job. So more than 50% of the, the, the jobs require such skills, such knowledge. Now, these are the knowledge. Let's look at the skills, right? Analytical skills is the first one, right? I would say uh, you will be able to understand the data, right? Collect the data and realize the data to, to understand it, right? Exactly as what I was doing here. Right now, after you extract insights, you should be able to communicate or interpret that data. Right, see the second one, right? Second skills in high demand. That is the communication, verbal, written, and interpretation. 
right? And if you have these two type of skills, you'll be really very powerful, right? You can understand the data. First, assemble the data, right? Understand the data and will be able to communicate effectively, right? The insights you obtain. And that's what companies are looking for. Now, if you also have the skills of planning, of optimizing, right? Data skills, right? Improving uh, improvements or teamwork, collaborative, uh, uh, team playing skills, right? You will be invincible in the marketplace. And finally, let's look at technology software required. Right? Technology is highly mentioned in almost in, in a lot of jobs, right? And what software people are looking for in practice? Microsoft Office, SAP, PowerPoint, right? Excel, database, right? ERP systems. So essentially, the most popular tools people use in practice, and they hope you were uh, master, uh, you you know how to how to use uh, a Microsoft Office, right? And SAP, and that's the uh, ERP system, right? And you should know a little bit also about the database, like SQL, right? And here, look at see you see here Power BI, right? Pivot table, dashboards, Tableau, right? And that's pretty much it.